What's going on guys, RS Novice here with some Magic the Gathering 2015 core set pack openings. So, uh, M15 has a lot of cool stuff. We're obviously looking for uh, a Johnny, Garouk, uh, Nissa. There's a few other cards out there we're looking for, but let's go ahead and see what we pull. M15 is actually the very first core set I've been excited about, but then again, I've only been playing since, um, I think, Born of the Gods. But when I looked at the uh, 2014 and 2013 core sets and whatnot, I wasn't really super excited about anything I saw there. Alright, so let's see what we get here. Yeah, some Path... Uh, what's that thing? Path Mage. Hunt the Weak. A Cursed Spirit. Divination. Generator Servant. Raise the Alarm. So what is this? Statute of Denial. Tyrant's Machine. Krinko's Enforcer. Now we're into the Uncommons. We have Hot Soup. Stab Wound. Very nice. Nissa's Expedition. And Chasm Stalker. Okay, so nothing really impressive here. It is a 1-1 one, one for 3 Squid Horror. Whenever it, uh, you draw a card, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Whenever it dies, put X-1-1 one, one Blue Squid Creek Stogans with Island Walk onto the battlefield. Where X is the number of plus 1, plus 1 counters that were on him. So not bad. And we have a Foil Forest, a regular Forest, and then a Tip card. Okay, so... Foil Land, that's always nice. Alright, pack number 2. I don't usually go over the commons and uncommons, but I figured for the um, the pack openings there might be someone on here who wanted to see it. Alright, so what do we get? Lightning Strike, very solid common for standard. Razor Fort Foot Griffin. Carrion Crow. Siege Worm, kind of a um, phallic looking worm there. Tyrant's Machine. Krinko's Enforcer. Selfless Cather, Chrono Stutter, Rubbinging Goblin, Bronze Sable. Now we're into the uncommons. We have Paragon of Fierce Defiance, Druby Merklurker, Profane Memento, and our rare Soul of Innistrad. Okay, sweet. So we got a Mythic. Then we have a Plains and another Tip card. All right, so that's not too bad. Um, cracking the Mythic's always fun. Alright, let's hope this last pack has something of some serious value here. We can always hope. Um, I have pulled quite a few Planeswalkers since I started playing. Uh, I've actually cracked six Planeswalkers in the short period of time that I've been playing, so I don't expect to pull too much here. But, you know, one can hope. Alright, so we have Triplicate Spirits. Another Lightning Strike. Another Siege Worm. Zoth Shade. Selfless Cather, Chrono Stutter, Rummaging Goblin, Bronze Sable, a lot of repeats, Oresco Swiss Claw, Ulcerate, very nice, we're into the Uncommons now, great card, Shrapnel Blast, Dissipate, and, okay, um, not quite what I was hoping for, but it could be worse, Master Polymorphist, at least we got a Legendary, it's always fun to crack. It's a 2-2 two -two for three uh, for four with two and a blue. Tap, sacrifice another creature. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-legendary creature card. Put that card on the battlefield and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. Uh, might see some limited play. I doubt it, though. It doesn't seem all that great. Oh, and then we have a foil blast fire bolt, a swamp, and an insect token. Okay, the insect token is actually my favorite thing that I pulled here because I'm strange and I happen to collect tokens. But all right, um, very neat. So we'll quickly go over the uh, rares and foils we pulled. I'll take this off of macro mode now. Alright, so very cool. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this pack opening. Look forward to many more pack openings of both Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! alike. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.